Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we will see how to restore the system state backup on our Windows Server 2025. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we go and see the active directory users and computers we have this OU. If by mistake we delete this OU the marketing one and then we will try to restore it from the system state backup. To delete it we have to go to the view and I will say advanced feature and here in the marketing if I go and delete it it is protected so what we have to do we have to go to the properties in the object we have to uncheck this and click on apply and click on ok and now we have a marketing OU here and we have a poll user inside it so let's suppose you delete it by mistake let's go and delete it so yes we are sure we want to delete this so marketing OU has been deleted so now we will try to restore this marketing OU with the help of system state backup we have taken so let me close this and let's open the server manager and from the tools I will go to the windows server backup here you can see the recover option just click on recover and here it says where is the backup stored that you want to use for the recovery in our case it is on this server itself it's not on the another location so we will select this server and click on next now here we have this date like Saturday 5th April last system state backup was taken on this date let's select this and proceed with next and if I select here system state and click on next and here it says you want to save it to the original location or not so I will select the option original location so now let's click on next and you can see there is an error the backup contain active directory domain server which can be recovered only when the computer is started in directory service restore mode so this error means that this system state backup can be restored only in the directory service restore mode only that is dsrm mode so we have to restart our server to the dsrm mode you can say that is safe mode as well so i will click on ok and i will cancel it let's go and open the ms config and here we have the boot option you can see this save boot here you can check this save boot and select this option active directory repair click on apply click on ok and it will prompt for restart then we have to restart it so now our system has been rebooted to the safe mode that is dsrm mode make sure that when you log into this dsrm mode you have to log in with the local admin account not the domain administrator to verify this we will open the command prompt and if you see who am i you can see the my dc01 administrator it is a local administrator not the domain admin so let me close this and open the server manager again on the tools i will open the windows server backup i will click on local backup and here we have a recover option again we will click on this recover this server my dc01 click on next i will select the last successful backup and we'll click on next here we will select the system state we'll proceed with next and where you want to recover the system state of this active directory backup to i will say the original location and we'll click on next the recovery option will cause all replicated content on the local server to resynchronize after recovery this may cause potential latency or outage issues so i will click on ok do you want to continue i say yes and i will click on recover even though you can select this option automatically reboot but after the recovery has been done we want to reboot our server in a normal mode so i'm not selecting this let's click on recover click on yes now it is initiating it and it will restore it to the original location it will take some time to recover depends on your system state backup size so let's wait for a while now the recovery process has been started and it is completed prox 28 percent and estimated time remaining is about four minutes now you can see the recovery process has been completed so these were the items and the destination to the original location and the status is completed and this is the data transfer it says that computer must be restarted to complete the recovery operation so what we will do we will go to the ms config again and the boot option we will uncheck the save boot option and in the general we will select the normal startup and we will click on apply ok and reboot the computer now so now the server has been started to the normal mode and you can see the message we have the system state recovery operation that started at this time has successfully completed press enter to continue 
so now the recovery has been done so let's verify that marketing OU and the user Paul is there or not so let's open the Active Directory users and computers and you can see we have this marketing OU there the Paul user is there so we have successfully recovered our OU by performing the recovery option from the system state backup I hope the video was useful let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.